For those who don't know me, my name is Richard Cook and I'm running for Township Committee. I was born and raised in Montville Township. I graduated from the County College of Morris with an associate degree in criminal justice and I'm a graduate of the West Point Command and Leadership School. I was a member of the Montville Police Department for 31 years and I worked for 10 years as the police chief. I retired in 2014. I'm an exempt member of the Montville Fire Department. I served on the Montville Township First Aid Squad Board of Directors. I was a liaison to the Drug Awareness Council. And I'm currently a member of the Planning Board and the Historic Preservation Commission. I'm married to my wife, Dolores, who's over here today. Um, I am a fiscal conservative, and I support a less and efficient government. But that still ensures that citizens are safe and secure but one that still provides the needed services that our residents expect. I am running for office because I believe I have a vast working knowledge of Montville Township, and I wish to use that knowledge for the benefit of our citizens. I believe that my experience as a police chief and a police officer will be of unprecedented value to the community. At the police department, I introduced new technologies that improved efficiencies in the department, I used outsourcing, I eliminated programs that were not effective, and those were tough decisions because some of these programs were around for a long time. I was able to get the police department accredited, which lowers the liability insurance rates, thus saving taxpayers money. If I'm elected, I hope to increase revenues to redevelopment of the Route 46 corridor. As you know, Pinebrook Motel is, uh, is under uh, a redevelopment uh, application right now. And if you haven't noticed, Montville Township is really not growing that much. And we, we need to get some uh, revenues in to offset any tax increases. Um, I want to examine the operations of the town to see what programs are effective and what programs are no longer needed. When I was at the police department, I always asked the question, why do we do this? Because sometimes in government, no one asks that question, and everything keeps on going the way it is. So I remember in records, I used to go, why do we do this? And what do we do with it? Well, we do this and we put it over here. And how many hours you do that for a day? Three. I'm like, let's get rid of it. You gotta ask those questions because people always say, that's just the way we've done it. And if you get that out of there, you can eliminate a lot of waste. So that's what I like to do also. I like to have a good working relationship with our town council, but I also encourage a rigorous debate because you can't all, can all get along, but you also need to debate issues. You don't debate issues, you don't get the best, best uh, decisions for our citizens. So <clears throat> I want to ensure that our town's infrastructure is maintained and our citizens are receiving great service for their tax dollars. I always gave the uh, story of down at the old police station. They built the old police station on River Road. They built it. Never did anything about it after that. Never maintained it, never did anything. So the water used to leak through the roof all the time. And the road department was up there, and they're trying to find this leak. And they found this tennis ball was in a pipe. I'm like, well, pull it out. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, they pull it out, and the water came through that ceiling like you wouldn't believe. But that was like, that building fell down around it because no one did anything about it. So you got to maintain stuff. You gotta, that's what you have to do. So, and I always want to listen to our residents because I am going to represent them. So their, 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 my, their voice is what I need to hear and I need to act on behalf of them. So that's what I want to do. So I believe that my leadership and my problem solving skills will be effectively used in our township council. And I look forward to continuing our family tradition. If you haven't noticed, our family's been in Montville. Well, we came 1699. One of my relatives was a freeholder in 1753 before the Revolutionary War. I think one of them was the one of the first town council persons ever elected. Um, and we were Dutch. We came over here to get away from the British. And unfortunately, they followed us. <laughs> so I'll give you an example of what happened with our family. So on Horseneck Road, there was a thing called the Horseneck Road Riots. I don't know if you ever heard of this. They said it was one of the first uprisings against the British in the colonies. So a Baldwin, Baldwin's, which I believe is on Lib River Road, he was cutting down trees. And the British came along to him and said, uh, listen, 
you can't cut down trees here. He goes, no, we bought this land from the Indians. They had bought all the land from the Indians, paid for it. Yeah. They said, oh no, you gotta buy it from the king, right? So they arrested him. They arrested Baldwin, brought him down to Newark, and the 100 angry Dutch people marched down to Newark, assaulted the guards, and broke him out of prison. So they said that's one of the first uh, uprisings. <laughs> My one relative, he went from uh, Montville to a town called Cooksboro, just to escape the, uh, the, the British up there. And, Unfortunately, they came and found him up there. They robbed him. His two sons were uh, fighting the Revolutionary War uh, to oppose Burgoyne north of Albany. And so he, uh, he suffered that. But, uh, well, I think all they wanted was to be, you know, own land, not be bothered, free business. And so I think that's what right, 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 yes. <laughs> right. I think that's what America should be. So uh, if you have any questions for me, I'm willing to take them.